Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at FSR 3.0 frame generation mod for The Witcher 3 and I'm playing on my Steam Deck Steam OS. This is the Steam version, you can see it's version 4.04. .04. Let's load into the game. So the purpose of this video, I'm going to load into the game without the mod. So this is without the mod, I'll show you the performance and then later I'll turn on the FSR 3.0 frame generation mod and you can see the performance gain there. And then I'm just going to go to my Steam Deck desktop mode, show you how to install it. And um, I'm not going to go very far because this isn't actually my game. I don't own this game on Steam. This game was shared to me by my Discord member called Sneaky Snake. Shout out to you. He's sharing this game to me so I can test it out. I actually own this game on GOG and I tried to copy the save over, but... Um, I think it's because I have the complete edition on GOG and the Steam edition that I'm using right now is just the Wild Hunt and it just doesn't load the save for some reason. I guess that's the reason. So um, so that's why I'm just here in um, White Orchard in this little village and um, maybe I can go out into the uh, open area. So you can see the performance is around 40 frames. So 30-ish 40 frames um and i'll show you my settings i'll show you my settings here options video graphics so graphic preset i'm on i set it to high and then anti-aliasing is fsr2 quality okay everything else is default um display you see dlss frame generation is grayed out because i don't have the mod on Okay, and I'm on Steam OS 3.5.7. That's the latest stable release as of recording. Okay, and prior utilities on, recommended settings, uh, 4 gigabytes of VRAM, and my Steam Deck performance tab. I've turned everything off. I've just got um, enable, oh, sorry, disable, disable frame limit on. And on power tools, SMT on, 8 threads, governor set to performance. Okay, so that's my settings. And yeah, I'm getting like 40-ish frames. 40-ish frames. So shout out again to Sneaky Snake for sharing his Steam account, the family sharing function. So I can test out these games. And also, I want to give a shout out to Geode87 because I tried this mod yesterday for the Steam Deck, Witcher 3. I couldn't get it to work. And Geode87, he's on um, Luke FC, the creator of the mod. He's on his Discord and he like showed me how it's done. So shout out to you, Geode87. Thank you very much. Okay. And I think we've had enough of the gameplay. Like. I'm not going to test out every single location, obviously, because I couldn't transfer over my save. I'm not going to play the game all over again. Um, so, yeah, that's not the purpose. So now I'm going to go and show you the mod. So let me quit the game first. So I've already done all the like file transfer on desktop mode. I'm just going to toggle on the mod. So add the launch options command. Now, I could load the game with the mod. We should see a mod window hooking up the game with the mod. So, yeah, let's boot up the game. Okay. Yes, this is the mod window that I was talking about means that the mod is working it's hooking up with the game okay go to options video graphics so graphic presets still i'm going to use high and then anti-aliasing now we can select dlss you couldn't do that before without the mod okay and then dlss quality is quality okay Display, make sure you go to display and you turn on DLSS frame generation. Okay. 
if you don't have this on, you might crash the game or you might get the UI flickering. Okay, let's boot up into the same area we were before. And yeah, let's see the performance. Come on. Okay. So we got a little bit of flickering on the sides. But you can see the performance. It's like 70 to 80 frames. I think we can get that away since we've already loaded in. You see the sides? There's a little bit of like flickering. Yeah, I think we can get that away. Let me try. Go to video. Let's go to graphics. Let's change it back to FSR 2. Yeah, now we don't have that flickering anymore. But the performance is... The performance is, like... Improved. We're getting 60-ish, 70, even 80 FPS. And we don't have any UI flickering. Not much... Do we have ghosting? No, we don't have ghosting. And let's check the input lag. Okay... Strike, strike. Yeah, I, I don't really f find any input lag. I'm not really sensitive to that. Maybe I'm not sure, but I don't like. I don't feel any input lag. But now you can see, we've got the FSR three mod on, and you know, in this area with high settings, we we're getting like thirty-ish, forty frames. And we're getting like sixty, seventy now. Move it. So yeah. The mod definitely works. So yeah, shout out to Luke FC for making the mod, and also G Geode eighty seven for showing me how to get it working on the Steam Deck. I couldn't get it to work yesterday. I put out a video when I turned the DLSS on; it was just black screen. Yeah. All right. So yeah, enough of that. I think you know, you know what you're getting into. I'm not going to go into the cities because I don't have to save and yeah, that's not the purpose of my video. Okay, so let's go back to my Steam Deck desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, which is me, Grown Up Cooking. Growing Up Cooking is a secondary channel of mine. It's dedicated to easy to make cooking recipes. So if you like gaming, you like cooking and you want to sponsor me, go over there and subscribe to the channel. I'll give you a sneak preview right now. Alright, we're gonna kill it. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god. Oh god, just put the sauce in. Mm. So did you enjoy that? If you want to watch the full video, go over to Grown Up Cooking. Links in the description and subscribe to that channel. So first you need to locate the folder for your game, the game folder. Alright, if it's a Steam version, it should be in Steam Apps, Common, The Witcher 3. Once you're here, go inside the bin folder and then x64 underscore dx12 is the folder you want. Here, we're going to extract the mod files. Okay, so if you go to your mod files, here I've got mine here, Luke FC mods. So yesterday I was using the 0.7.4 version and um, using the 201.zip. And there was a little bit of confusion because some people say you don't need to use this file, the nvngx.dll, and we should put this file in, but you remove the underscore at the front. Um, I did that, it crashed the game. It was kind of really confusing. Um, but luckily, now, today, we've got a new update by Luke FC. So it's 0 0.7.5 and it doesn't have those files anymore. It, uh, the latest version doesn't require those files for the mod to hook. So it's much easier. So now I'm using 0 0.7.5, 201.zip. I'm just going to drag these over. Extract these files. Okay. And then you need to have uh, the enable fake GPU.zip. 
this file, you'll also need to drag it over. I already have it here, so I'm not going to drag it over. But uh, I think there's a little bit of change. There's more code. So before we only had this, like fake NVIDIA GPU equals true. Now we've got this resolution override. I'll put this in the um, description. So maybe you can copy it and paste it onto this file if you don't have it already. Okay, so that's basically it. We, I don't have to do that reg edit, like go to the reg edit and um, insert that registry file. I, I don't have to do that anymore. Okay, but the main thing that you need to do, go to your game, go to your game library, Steam library, your game. You need to enter this code, right? To enable the mod, the WinMM one. All right, I'll leave this code in the description as well. Make sure under compatibility, you force it to GE Proton 820. That's the tip that Geode87 told me to get to work. And I didn't do that yesterday. Uh, but once I did it, it works now. So this is the key to getting it to work on the Steam Deck Steam OS for The Witcher 3. All right, make sure you use this um, Proton version, GE820. All right, if you don't know how to get this, Okay, go to your Discover Store. Go to your Discover Store. Type Proton. And install this Proton Up QT, the green arrow up. And while you're at it, get Proton Tricks. These two are very important for Steam Deck. Okay, launch Proton Up QT. And then install for under Steam, add version. And then under here, compatibility to GE Proton, select the version, so 820, and then select install here. I already have it, so I'm not gonna install it, but that's what you do. So yeah, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.